Oh guys, PS just dropped another balancing update, which seems like a ammo rebalancing which one is more rare, which one is less rare, more common. As you can see, on the workbench level 3, the BP ammo crafting has changed into 120 PS added. I mean, okay, 120 PS. If you are looking for BP at the point, I think PS is fairly easy to find. I don't think it's too much of a big deal. Uh, but this one is pretty interesting. The BP ammo by 9 by 39 millimeters are totally removed from the workbench. And then it is changed to PAB-9. It requires SP-6, 200 rounds for 200. And it needs tools for screwdriver and the master. Oh well. Interesting they removed the whole thing. And also, there's a use for the HP ammo now. Wow. I usually drop it whenever I'm a scav because it's just useless. So it can make kite powders now instead of from PS. So there's a use for P HP ammo. And uh, for the BT ammo 9x21, there's a lot of change on 9x21 ammo. Um, it requires somewhat less stuff. You can see that kite is that less needed and then hand drill. Only hand drill is needed. Fierce blow sledgehammer is um, the sledgehammer you use it for the high down. So you don't need it anymore. For 9x39 SPP ammo, you now need 200 rounds. <laughs> From 50 rounds to 200 rounds. I'm not really a BSS enjoyer, so I'm not really sure if that's a big change. But it does look like a big change. Oh, it changed to SP-5, not BT same. Okay, that makes more sense. SP-5 spawns as a scab a lot. I mean, it might be just only me, but it seems like scabbing is being pushed more and more. That you need to scab more to do some stuff. HP ammos and SP-5 ammos are like spawning crazily on scabs, but I usually just drop it and not use it because it's useless. Dude, I two-tabbed a Timmy's penis helmet with sp-5 ammo and then he didn't die i mean yeah it's not a good ammo but but we don't have to specifically you know i killed two pmcs as scav i caught i got called a cheater i mean dude that didn't kill him come on you fucking liar Wow! How did that not kill him? Uh, for M80s, as you can see, the requirement has reduced. Hmm, that is actually interesting. Uh, actually, a lot of people in my stream were talking about M80, like, nerf was too harsh. I guess they kind of realized that. And then the SMB ammo. Wow has increased its requirement a lot with the LPS ammo added, but the result has dropped to half. Guys, if you guys want SMB ammo, go to woods and go next to the um, attachment hut. Next to that, there's a um, ammo spawn. So yeah, this is the attachment hut, which is not far from the Violet Keycard car, there's a dead scab you can check real quick. And then... Bring someone. Gotta check if there's someone in here. There's weapon parts here, gun spawns here, weapon part and full spawns here. And there's ammo spawn here, which seems like it's been already looted. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should have done with the PMC run. You can check this weapon case real quick. There's SMB spawns a lot here. SMB usually spawns as a pack. I haven't found a lot of SMBs in the ammo case. Because they don't really spawn there in the ammo box. They usually just spawn as a loose spawn on the ground or on the shelves as a pack ammo ammo pack 
So yeah, you might want to check it out, check it like that. And if you were a scab, usually you have an extract to bolt or deadman's place. Deadman's place is here and bolt is there. Like I don't know why it's so close. You can check while looting. There's a duffel bag too. Eh. Not bad, eh? Oh yeah, we are again at the hut. You can check the dead scab if you want. Some food spawns as I said. Some ammo spawns right here. Um, Igornik, PBM, BS ammo, which is all nice. BS ammo, see? This place is like a um, treasure ground. Which has like a bunch of stuffs. Everybody who loves woods will check here if they know how to loot. Sadly, no SMB. Did they drop the SMB spawn? Yes, I am not sure. You get tons of 545 ammo too. You can see that there's tons of PBS ammo, BS ammo, PBBS ammo. I'm thinking that this is happening more because woods is an old map and 545 was here in the game, almost in the start of the game. Whenever it was like open beta or whatever. So, I mean, it's still open beta, but. So, anyways, yeah, that's the spawn. It spawns SMB a lot. And not only that, SMB. Mm, well, that's the most common spot, I can tell you. Nobody still loose there. Well, some people do, but, anyways. And for M61, it got nerfed hard. You can see the result is half. Duration got a little bit decreased, but you need M80 for it now. Hmm. So you have to craft M80 and then craft M61. Oh, that's why they nerfed the M80. Uh, they buffed the M80 craft a little bit. I get it now. Okay. And they got some trading adjustments. From here, you can actually see that they're pushing the 9x21 because it's a little bit better, a little bit cheaper, and unlimited restock. Higher restock, lower level from the traders, lower level from the traders, cheaper. And obviously MP7 that everybody loves, the laser freaking beam, has been increased its limits. Unlimited to limited stock, price per round has been increased. Action SX, guys if you're actually using Action SX, you might want to use some other gun. I know MP7 is a lovely gun, but if you're gonna use like Action SX, I don't think it's a good idea. But anyways, the price has increased, the stock has been changed. Well, this one has been okay. And then for Subsonic SX, wow, the mechanic level has been decreased. Interesting. And the price decreased. Subsonic SX is not bad. Isn't that the one that reduces recoil a lot? It literally makes a laser beam. Interesting. So I guess subsonics are going to be more loved by early game. And also, FMJ ammos has increased its limits and then increased its price. I mean, these changes are all good and everything. And I think people are liking that BSG is actually sharing the updates. Um, but <laughs> I wish they share more updates they hide, you know, like these can be simply found if you go to the traders, if you go to the crafting table and you find out like, oh, this is different. I guess they changed it. But we have like a couple of updates that we don't know of. We, we can't really see. I think they should share more of those. Anyways, that's all for now, guys. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to check out more videos, check out these PO lists. Hit that like and subscribe button to support me freely. I stream almost every day and every weekends on Twitch. Very bad scav. If you guys want to support me more, check out the Patreon. Join the membership. Super thanks. I'll see you in the next video.